Hi, Hans Lemerson here. It's been a little while since my last video, because uh, I got a, involved in a project. I, I was learning, I was studying how to make a, computers out of redstone, and I pretty much figured out how, how to do it. But I, I got a little bit annoyed by a comment that kept coming up on all the video, all the, all the forum threads and videos about, hey, that's a pretty nice computer there, but can it run Minecraft in, in Minecraft? Yeah, it it was funny the first time, but got a little bit annoying. And I mean, it, maybe you could, but it would make a computer that would do that, but it would be like be like a billion times too slow, and pff, yeah, that's not really gonna work. But I I started thinking, hmm, what if you were to make something out of redstone that would kind of qualify as Minecraft in Minecraft? What would it look like? Yeah, what would it look like? I'd say it would look something kind of like this. Yep. Minecraft in Minecraft. Rendered in redstone. Oh, well, a, a few pistons here and there, but pretty much redstone. Uh, yeah, it's an 8x8 pixel display. The blinking curse, blinking pixel, that's where the player is. Uh, currently, I'm suspended in midair because uh, of some testing, testing I was doing previously. Um, I think I should move to the right. Yeah, this lever here switches between block placement removal, yeah, between like manipulating blocks and moving. Uh, it's away from me, so I'll be moving, and I'll press the right button. And five seconds after pressing it, doo -doo 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 -doo. ah, there I am. I move to the right. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Um, hmm. There's a block to my right, but I want to move to the right again. Well, I'll just press the button, right? Nothing bad will happen. And... Nothing happened! Yeah, pretty good job, Hans. You built a machine where you press a button and nothing happens. Well, okay. It, it, but it, nothing was supposed to happen. That's the point, okay? Now, I'll flip the lever. Now it's block manipulation. Uh, I'll get rid of that block. I don't like that block anymore. Die, block. There you go. Hehe. <laughs> I killed it. That was actually pretty fun. I'm going to kill the one above me. Whee! And boop. It's gone. Uh, now, since I'm an intelligent, rational being, I will walk off a cliff. La la la! Doo, doo, doo. Oh, did you, did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, I moved to the left, and then I moved downwards. Yeah, this thing has gravity. Now, it's turn-based gravity. It, it only fires once every command, but so you'll notice that I'm actually still hovering in midair. But that's because I decided that given how slow this is, like five seconds of latency between a button press and a command, it might be best if... Uh, there wasn't any time-sensitive features, like, and constant falling might interrupt commands, and you get weird hybrid commands of fall and place a block, which just ends up deleting your coordinate. That happened a few times. Yeah. Debugging was fun. Oh, now I'll move to the left, and I do so now, and then I'm on the ground. Pretty cool. And I move to the right. Um, and, oh shoot. I want to get back up on top of that block. How am I going to do it? Well, because this, has, th this is a good enough Minecraft simulation that you can do the time-honored tradition of pillaring. So I'll jump up into the air. Now, I move two blocks up and then fall one block down. So that's a net gain of one block. I, I had to put some interesting exception circuitry in there to get jumping to be kind of upwards like this. And then, okay, uh, block placement, aim beneath me, and boop, there's a block. Uh, let's try that again. 
Or actually, no. I, I, I can jump onto the ledge. It'll, it'll work. I'll jump. I move up two blocks. And then fall down one. And now I'm hovering in the air. And still on movement. Okay, let's move to the right. Pretty cool. Now, uh, there, there is an interesting bug in this, uh, but I prefer to think of it as a feature. Uh, jumping only checks to see whether you're standing on a solid block. It doesn't actually check to see if there's anything above you. So if you do something uh, like give yourself a ceiling, and then jump, you go two blocks up, and then you would fall down, except there you have a floor now, so gravity get the falling the falling gets stopped, and you don't go anywhere so that works out uh it looks a little strange, but kind of think of it think of it as a ladder. I had to do it because it was the cho I had to choose between between being able to jump in midair, which was a big no-no, and being able to jump through ceilings. I chose jumping through ceilings, because, well, it's somewhat more awesome. Uh, yeah, b because I, uh, the way I designed it, I can only do one block check per, uh, per cycle. So, like, moving right into solid block here, I can't do that. But moving... Uh, because it checks to see that there's a solid block there and says, nope, no movement happens. But to my left, there's an empty block. And I move there. And then falling works the same way. It checks the block beneath me to see if it's solid or not. Uh, in this case, it will not be solid. It wasn't solid, so I fell down. But I can make it solid. And it turns solid before the fall command executes, and I am safe from the ravages of gravity. And I can jump up. Up, and then I fall a little bit down, and then move to the left. Anytime now. Yeah, there we go. And that's kind of how you go upstairs. So there are two ways of, go of going vertically. There's the jump and move over where you go upstairs and then there's the ladder formation so yeah this is minecraft in minecraft now it's only two dimensions i acknowledge that and it's there are no graphics whatsoever but i i think it captures the the spirit of minecraft it it was it was inspired by it was based on uh minecraft creative mode uh, in how you, you have total freedom for placing and removing blocks wherever you want, but you still have the restrictions of gravity. Uh, so, yeah, with, with the restrictions of not being able to move through solid terrain, but be, but having and being tied to the ground, so, uh, so it had the restrictions of creative and the well, open creativity of creative, because this whole structure here which it, I was intending to look kind of like a cave. Uh, yeah, I built it on my own. Or manually. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, this is actually... This loops around. It's, it's an infinite world, but it's only infinite. Well, it, it's 8 by 8, but it loops around. So if I manage to walk off the edge by continually moving right. Yep, keep moving right. Don't let blocks get in your way. Keep moving to the right. Okay. And move to the right. And destroy the block. There you go. And 
move to the right. And there you go. It's an infinite world. The same way a goldfish can swim around in a goldfish bowl forever. That, that sort of infinity. The kind of infinity that's not infinity. Okay, so I've showed you pretty much all of the features uh, that this has. Uh, so I, I think in the next part of the video, I'll give you a little bit of a tour of the actual structure itself. Because uh, th this is the little viewing box I constructed. Um, the actual thing is fairly massive. You can see the, some control circuitry down there. That's where the buttons connect to it. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll cut here and use my video editing skills to bring the next section after this. Uh, see you soon.